Yeah. We've got to bring him in to help. So those got cleaned up easily on this uh, near this wrecked glider. You can actually see the PPSH soldiers charging down, surviving the soulless. Oh, and dying. Yes. So I lost. He uh, he had a valiant effort, but uh, unfortunately it didn't pay off. He yeah. didn't make it back <laughs> home to to Gretel. And it was a huge loss to lose uh, two MGs so early in the game. So I can pin down the units. Yeah, you can see um, Cranial's now got a Su-85, which is a tank destroyer for the Soviets in Tier 3. It's very similar to a Stug. But uh, unfortunately it runs into the Panzer Grenadier blob and it does not make it out. Nice However, it does have a very useful upgrade called Cage Armor, which can help against the Panzer Shroud. Panzer Shreds. Yeah, it's very similar to the, uh, to the armor skirts ability of most Wehrmacht tanks. Yeah. Now, if anybody has noticed, um, I have Z1 on the Commissar, which is very powerful. Because he imparts global offensive or defensive bonuses. It is very similar to PE Vet and Brute Vet combined. Yeah, so as the command squad gains veterancy, in addition to all those abilities we were talking about, he does get the global bonus to infantry. Uh, it's only a small bonus, but it is very useful because it applies to all units on the field, all infantry units. So you can see uh, I've also got Vet 1, I think. My units are showing they are under the effect of the command squad. Not quite sure where he is at the moment, but... Quite the retreat by uh, Apeman there. I do not know why he did retreat. He had no superiority. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not too sure. Oh, you can see here yeah, this Vet 2 Mortar half track about to be gunned down by the Stroki, yeah. but with great losses. How would you describe the situation of the uh, exercise in set uh, stage of the game? Oh, uh, you know, it's not uh, uh, insurmountable, but it's not looking good at this moment. Not really. Um, Vermark does not have many units, really. Uh, the bunker could potentially play a bit of a role in maybe recovering squads or repairing humans. But uh, I'm not sure which way you've attacked at this point. I think there's some grenadiers running around. Uh, I think I... I wanted to make a repair bunker for repairing the PE vehicles. Now you see a firing barrage in the middle, a victory point. I think it was a command squad, yes. Yeah, so that's one of his Vet 1 uh, abilities, in addition to Heroic Charge. And he can... this ability is actually free for him to use, but he can only use it every three minutes or so, so it's got a very long cooldown. Um, and you'll find a few Russian abilities like this. A lot of Russian abilities do now have munitions costs, but uh, quite a few also are free, but have a long cooldown, so a bit more similar to the Panzer Elite. Such as the Molotovs. The Molotovs are free, but they um, have quite the cooldown. They do, yes. Um, what I have to resolve is there is a Jagdpanzer 4. It's one of the new uh, reward units of uh, Panzer Elite Faction and is a reward for Heads Attack. Yeah, so the, the trade off for this one is going to be. Right. Anti-tank power for anti-infantry, right? Right. Anti Looks like the PE. I go up to Oh, that young panther just sitting, uh, sitting in the shadow of that tree, assassinating the or ambushing the uh, SU-85. Yeah, it looks like very that. sneaky play by by ape there. His PE blobs were very, very powerful during this game. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of G43s and Shreks in this blob. So at this point we know that, uh, that Ape has gone tank destroyer. So we're going to see this, this uh, Shrek blob becoming even more powerful. So it could be quite a threat later on. Let's 
see here a couple of uh, couple of snipers picking off at the Panzer Elite Blob, but uh, not much is really doing much to these units at the moment. Well, it was a very nice move from Aveman. He uh, faked an attack uh, on his main and destroyed with his uh, tank destroyer, the Su-85. Okay, so we're seeing these Sturmavi push up through this uh, through this middle area right now with the command squad in tow. They're going to aim at going for this bunker and this pack, I think. It's like say running just through our defenses. Yeah, at the moment the, the Wehrmacht players, uh, well the Axis players, not really having much to stop the infantry yeah. at the moment. But this Needle comes down, pretty good timing. And the attack is stopped for now. Still not looking too good for the Axis team though. Not really. Not at all. I actually didn't really know what to do, because uh, main infantry was much uh, better for our Soviets and AT wasn't either good for us, so we had only one tank destroyer on very low health which will get repaired right now but I have only one pack and one uh, PE Gren uh, one Gren was a uh, Shrek, but nothing more so I think I did, uh, will build a Puma right now I have something uh, against the infantry Mm, thankfully, uh, Apes still got quite the Panzer Grenadier blob. Still a huge Indeed. infantry threat there. Uh, but in the way of tanks, yeah, there's not too much to stop us there. Uh, I'm currently sitting on seven CPs, and I still haven't chosen a doctrine. I'm not sure what you guys have gone, Killer. What are what are you going for there? Uh, I have chosen uh, Terror actually, because of the uh, uh, attack bonus and the uh, propaganda war. Maybe with some uh, missions I can uh, throw with some of you and attacking units back. So um, let's see how. Anything to stop this Soviet horde at this point, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. What are these? How about you, Cronium? I've chosen an uh, urban button, they have some nice um, later game abilities and they can use infiltration with their partisans. Uh, they can also call in the all powerful KV2 or the SU122. Right, and those are basically just uh, stirs on crack. They're, they're pretty intense anti infantry tanks, they're self propelled cannons, right? So they're going to put big holes in this blob if, uh, if you do actually get to use one. I'm seeing a nice, uh, nice counter push from the right hand side by Killer. This Puma combined with these infantry are uh, actually quite a difficult thing for me to stop at the moment. I've only got the AT guns. Which are not in the right place right now. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought you have uh, much more tanks in uh, the back just waiting to steamroll us. But <laughs> actually, no. there were no tanks. <laughs> we were in quite the limbo with our uh, fuel. Believe it or not, we were using it for upgrades and much other things. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't actually afford really anything. I was trying to maintain this infantry blob. And up until now, it had been doing quite pretty well, but against Pumas, not so much. I had to, inf well, with um, Soviet infantry, when you go for an armor rush like uh, a strategy like I had performed, you do not get any special infantry or stroke. You, you would have to back time to unlock these. So, noticing these, I have built my support guards finally unlock these. We will see what comes next. 
just saw that um, Gotthard Dennis had to retreat his conscripts. Set rear. Yet, a, yet again, a very nice uh, needle work from Strike. Yeah. And we're seeing these guards, Strelke and Command Squad move up against uh, this young Panzer trying to take it out. Here comes the blob and a great nade right in the center that kills about 10 people. Yeah, it's great damage. These guards are still moving up. You'll notice they have a machine gun that they can actually use on the move. That's due to the shot guards upgrade at the armory. And they also have their SVT weapon package. So they are very, very strong units. With shot guards, you can also unlock the PPS 43, SMG upgrade, and pack grenades. Now we just witnessed uh, one of those anti tank grenades take out that Yug Panzer, so that's finally going to stop being a threat to us. Ah, it was destroyed. Oh, Didn't notice it at all. <laughs> now this Puma is still uh, wreaking havoc down here. Having a little look at the base, another one kills an anti-tank gun in middle. So there's not too much to stop these at the moment. Yes, there are no more than uh, 18 units on the field at that moment. But as we see at, uh, at Cranial base, we see an IS-2 pop out. Now this thing is a very heavy tank. It is basically the equivalent of a Panther tank for this uh, axis and it is very very strong <laughs> I think it's a little bit stronger than uh, Panther I think it is yes just a tiny bit Sorry, uh, but of course much slower it's, it's a bit like the pink target across the Panther to be honest very plodding and slow but, it doesn't have but that is a big gun <laughs> yeah. it does reload fairly slow too, so... Puma's still uh, wreaking havoc in middle, making it very difficult to cap out all of these points. Oh, Hopefully yeah. this IS-2 can take out some stuff. Just lost a uh, strikey squad. Yeah, so I think this is the point where Axis is really starting to gain some momentum. They're taking back a little bit of territory, they're being more aggressive. And, uh... Yeah, us as the Soviets are actually taking quite a few losses here. See the Puma narrowly misses these snipers here. Indeed. <laughs> Unfortunately I wasn't watching my command squad up the top of the map here and it does go down to Panzer Grenadier Blob. And unfortunately all the infantry bonuses fade away once the command squad is dead. And with that, the infantry themselves too. Yet another good naval warfare strike. To stop your uh, Russian parts from the Haha. But I think the IS-2 is right now. Unfortunately, a little inaccurate. <laughs> Takes a while. Something that big and slow is uh, generally a bit more useful against heavy enemy tanks than these fast, nimble humans. You can see uh, I've hit uh, the field with the T-34. The, some say the tank that won the war for the Soviet Union. Uh, it's got a great mix of speed, firepower and health. And it's also pretty cheap. But of course, it takes a while to get to these. Uh, should we make a time scene? I am currently at uh, seven, uh, 27 or 6, 7, 8. Yep, I'm matching nine. you. I, oh, I'm a bit behind you guys. How much? Uh, looks like about 4 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Then I will uh, pause right uh, now on 25 seconds. Alright, so for the moment, um, it's actually a little over halfway in this game. You